You are putting together a test for your online course in Blackboard. As you scroll down and look at the different options, you see forced completion. If a student navigates away from the test and forced completion option is turned on, the test is automatically submitted for them by the system. This test you are creating is online and you can't be too careful. This tool should ensure that students cannot cheat like a proctor, right? No. While this feature is often wrongly attributed to making online examinations more effective by dissuading academic dishonesty, forced completion creates more harm than whatever good it is intended to do. Problems with internet providers or browsers are more often the culprit than students attempting to abuse testing time. On countless occasions, help desks get calls from distraught students because their system lost a connection and their test was submitted incomplete. Worse still, there's nothing they could do to help. This has motivated multiple universities to recommend not using forced completion. If your goal is to punish students who have unreliable internet or browsers, then forced completion is a great tool. However, there's no pedagogical value in this, and it creates serious issues of equity in your course. The unreliability of forced completion and the technical issues it creates makes it ineffective at what it was designed for at best, and discriminatory at worst. If an assessment requires forced completion to be effective, it wasn't much of an assessment to begin with. Forced completion offers arbitrary criterion in evaluating students and burden support services. Effective online assessments allow students to demonstrate their mastery of the subject. This can be done without forcing students to recite answers in a short period of time with arbitrary punishments divvied out. And it don't matter how long you can remember it, just so you can pair it back for the test. The key to online learning is to focus on constructivist techniques of learning and not passive learning activities. This is not to say that online tests are not effective, but to suggest how they are used, such as a tool to help students self-assess their understanding, is the key to using tests successfully. While this can be difficult to navigate, minimally it means you should not use forced completion.